this reminds me of my grandma. Hello, it's Jeffrey with Real Nifty Vintage, and today we are here at the Marine Flea Market in Marine, Illinois. I haven't been here in so long. I'm really anxious to get in here. I think it's been like a month since I've been in here, so I'm really excited to see what they have. So let's go. All right, we're gonna go to the dollar section first, which is, I think, a lot of people's favorites, especially on the videos. They wanna see what's over here. Sometimes I can find some really interesting things. So it looks like they've got some bowls made in Japan. You get both bowls for a dollar. That's really pretty, actually, for a bowl, for a bowl. So maybe, maybe I'll, I'll get that. I mean, I really don't care so much for the transferware bowl on the bottom, but I like this one. I'm, I'm, I'm liking that. Hmm. Maybe I will. That'll be a, a head start. So we'll have something right off the bat. That way, we can ensure that we do not leave empty-handed because I don't want to have that as a precedent already. Oh, look, 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 look. You get both of these, and this is treasure craft. So this is the Carlsbad Tavern, New Mexico, the leaf. Treasure craft. People collect that, so I will get the in the bathtub with strawberries. See? It's a win-win. I mean, it's I think it's an ashtray, but... All right, so we're gonna do, is that a 10? This is a 10 for a dollar with jumping people on it. You know, I like my 10, so it's like this blue Delft type. Oh, it's that. Oh, it's an ashtray. It looks like, you know, that Namaji stuff. You can't make out the mark on the bottom, but apparently it comes with. So isn't that fun? Might as well. Get all of that. All the things. Whoops. All right, I'm going to take these up front. I'm already out of hands. Look at all these figurines, these bunnies I'm really into. Little Easter bunnies with carrots. And they're home co. Aren't they adorable? I'm going to get all three of them. They're a dollar each. They've got their little carrots. We'll get all three of the little bunnies. They've got all these figurines. Oh, and the cats. Okay, I might get the cats, too. I just, I had to get these on my way back to the dollar section. I had to look at these real quick. Seems like they've gotten more uh, since I've been gone. What are these? We've got a happy pig with his barrel of apples. Some of these resin. Oh, a little got milk cow. Okay. So, and then what are, what are these? I think a lot of those were there, and they have been. All right, let's let's put these up on my with my with my stuff. Honestly, I just noticed these little angels too. Little little cherub. I'm checking the wings over real quick. They look really good. Oh, I've never seen those before. Aren't those adorable? I'm gonna get all three of those too. I mean, they're a dollar each, so they're not super super cheap. But that's a really good deal, I think, still. I've got a little pile going. See, I'm glad I decided to let things build up a little bit. That's a harder collectible to sell. People don't seem to collect raccoons too much. Little bear, that's adorable. Aw. These are like little chickens. I don't think I'll get the little chickens. Oh yeah, the cats. Honestly? We're gonna get them all. Cat collectors unite. I've got a ton of cat people out there. That, this one. I noticed something over here. Oh yes, these. These caught my eye. Hmm. Oh, they're, 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 they're resin. Don't worry. I don't think I will. They looked like, they looked like some sort of a Fayance Majolica type glaze to me, but they're not. They're just, there's a broken pedal on that horse. Look at all these purses. I don't usually sell purses because I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know real leather to fake leather to real Chanel to fake Chanel to 
Michael Kors or all the things. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? That's $5. The shipping would be kind of much on that though. All right. The radio is always really loud here, but luckily we're in the middle of a commercial. I'm looking at these things. They've got like these uh, bathroom type things over here. Little trinket boxes and things. Usually made in, like that's a, well that's made in Japan, but it's Avon 1980. With that little fan thing. Transferred on application. The scarf. Oh, here's some Avon for you. You get all of it for a dollar. These are very common pieces, so I will not. Like the pheasants, there are a ton of them. The little capital building. Looks like it's broken on top. I'm not sure. Either way, a lot of these sell on eBay regularly for about two, two dollars. Two to three dollars each. There's a ton of them on there. So, if you're ever wondering why I do not pick up Avon, that's why. There's so much of it out there. So many people bought it, collected it. It's a mass produced. Look at that. That's pretty. The little milk glass diamond point three footed bowl. It's a dollar. Let's see. Baskets. What is this one? Is this like a pottery? Nope. It's kind of junk. That's just basic glass. All these are just very basic. I usually don't get to look at this stuff on camera because the radio is right next to me. Don't cry over spilled milk. That's heavy. Wouldn't want to ship that. It's really heavy. Um, Alright. Boy. There's nothing worse than feeling dirty after you step out of the shower. Oh, this is pretty. It's a seashell chime. It's broken though. Looks like, yeah, the string is gone. I wonder if I care about that. It's overall in great shape. Yeah, I mean, it's, that's a shame though. It's really pretty. There's a pestle. Ricer, eight dollars. They go for about twenty. They were a slow mover when I had the antique booth. I can tell you that. Oh my gosh! Look at all these little guys. Ooh, the cobalt ones are so cute. Um, they're five dollars each though. Ugh. I'd be more happy on three dollars each. Well, this little guy, he's three dollars each, but he's also clear glass. These. Um, Hazel Atlas ones, they don't go for a ton. Or is this the Hazel Atlas one? Well, are they the same? No, they're slightly different. The little white ones. That one's sort of, oh, that has a chip. This should be in Indiana Glass. Indiana Glass as well. Five dollars, yeah. I don't think I will on any of the, well, this one. Oh, that's Avon. Oh, Avon, you're always trying to do something, aren't you? You're always trying to be somebody. All right, um, I will not get any of those. The cobalt ones are not, well, <laughs> yeah, now I'm thinking about it again. I don't know. I'm not, I'm not sure how I feel about them. They're beautiful, but $5, I just can't really bring myself to do it. I'm, I'm kind of unsure on the age of those. I'm getting kind of Chinese or Taiwan vibes as opposed to, you know, anything older. Aw, look at the squirrels. The little gray squirrels. That's $2. I'm gonna get that. People like squirrels. Ooh, look at the, oh, that's broken. The horse thing is broken back there. All right, we'll get the squirrels. That's a pretty box for $2. Oh, with butterflies and oh wow, that's so cool. You get the butter, the home interior butterflies too. I really like that. Nice little box to put on a, well, a table. I know I'm very original with my ideas. A box on a table. Oh, the cow. He's like showing his booty off, or his uh, his udders. One of the two. He's showing them off, or she. She, she has her udders. What is this? 
What in the world? What did they do? That's like spray painted. It's so pretty. They did a good job. A little crafting session or something, right? Oh, a little tin with a butterfly. I can't pass that up. A dollar is actually a pretty good price. 1987. We'll get that. All right. Come on, friends. Well, we're finding stuff. Isn't that adorable? It's a little Mexico pottery turtle planter for $4. I'll have to get that. It's really nice. Here's some of this moon glow stuff, opalescent, a butterball in that block optic, stoneware apple thingy, some marigold carnival, a celery dish carnival, amber. What's over here? Mm hmm. It's pearlescent little pitcher and wash bowl. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I just realized I didn't sound very enthused. That's on purpose. I'm not actually happy about these. <laughs> They're uh, probably from about the 60s time frame. Made to look like the older, earlier stuff from the 1900s. This would be a Japan piece. And it is. It's Norcrest, made in Japan. Little washbowl sets. Oh, that's kind of pretty. Has an Italian vibe. Although it is Japan, based on these numbers, getting that inclination. All right, I don't see, I know those, there's bells down there. I've looked at them before, so I think we'll go forgo that. Furniture is usually too much for me to handle, both physically and <laughs> I was gonna say emotionally, both physically and financially. It's usually more expensive than I'm willing to. I like this old table though, with this crossbar. $25, that's pretty. It's like a little podium. I can conduct something. I can conduct myself here. Okay. Oh yeah, uh -huh. they've sold, well, you know, they really do. They sell through their furniture, so they're doing something right. Looks like lots of new stuff. Well, this is fun. They have like a fabric section over here. This is sort of new. I mean, this is not new. This fabric section is new. I didn't see it before. So this is a tablecloth and it is a little ratty on the edges. So I won't do that. $3, it's pretty otherwise. Look at that one. What does it say? Miscellaneous material for a dollar? That's, pr well, it's that early American stuff, right? From the 70s during that 1976 time frame. This reminds me of my grandma. Three dollars. Oh, they're curtain panels. Oh, here's some bark cloth. What do we got on here? Chair covers with fish. It says chair covers fish. Two dollars. I don't see any fish. Hmm. Gunpowder. It's very random. I don't think I'll do that. These colors are not so great for the season that we're in. Ooh, these have little, eh, I'm not really excited about it. Oh, mm -hmm. these are nice. Six dollars, curtains, birdhouse print, set of three. Yeah, this is a nice print with the birdhouses and the birds and the flowers, but they want six dollars. Hmm, so they're the hook. Kind of curtains. People can use that for just the fabric. I don't know. Six dollars? Come on. What do you think? I'm expecting an answer right now. What do you think? Uh, I think I will. We'll see. We'll just try them out. Let me see what kind of sewers we have. We have people that like to sew and use that. It's, that's pretty. That kind of Regency styled stuff. Ooh, and that is really pretty. That's bark cloth. You know what? That's a winner. This this giant stack is five dollars and that littler stack is six. This is actually very nice. The bark cloth. Look at this. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That's good. We're gonna get both of those. 
Here's some more bark cloth. Some funky fabric. Two dollars, other valances. Eh -eh, I won't do that. They're probably not very tall. Not a lot of fabric to work with. Let's get these two. Oh, I didn't, I almost missed this one. This is two dollars. It's a square tablecloth. Ooh, the colors are kind of neat. Do you want to do it? Looks like the edges are surged. Okay. I like that. You could do pillows with them or just use it as the tablecloth. That was, what, two dollars? I think it was. Okay. Boy, that just made my day. Those are some interesting things. You know what? I think I'm gonna try out these spoons. I've never bought and sold collectible spoons before. But something is calling my name to them today. They're all different states. And you get this entire piece here for $25. So I'm gonna go ahead and add that to my pile. I'm gonna see if they'll take 20 though, honestly, because I've never, I don't know what I'm doing with this. I just, I feel like I can piece them out though. All right, I got the other one too. I, so that's actually a really good deal. 15 and 25 originally. All right, I think I did pretty good since I haven't been here in so long, but I got all of those spoons, $25. So I basically, yeah, I got, I guess this one for free if you want to look at this top one, if you want to look at it that way. But it'll be interesting to see what these do. Um, I might put some of them together in like themes or something and sell them that way. But honestly, I think I'll do pretty well with them. Uh, even if you consider like $5 a spoon. So that's kind of where I'm thinking. Piece them out. Uh, and even that big spoon holder itself, the wood, there's value in that. Well, and this other little one too but I like the big one because it has that, the, the carving in it. So, all right, for now, we're going to wrap up this video. So thanks for watching and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye-bye.